Hey YouTube, how is it going today? Well, the meme stocks like AMC and GameStop are absolutely on fire again. But in case you missed the boat on those ones and you're having a serious case of regret, I have some other ones to show you that could be the next ones to explode. Now, if you're new to my channel, I've been trading and investing for over 20 years, and in every video, I'll show you some of the potential trades and investments that I see setting up. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future trading or investing ideas. And I also have a Patreon group, so if you would like to be a part of our community and see what we are buying and selling in real time, that link is in the description. All right, everybody, so let's get right in to these stock charts. But first off, I just want to say a couple things. Number one, of course, is I am not a financial advisor. Please do all of your own research for investing in any stocks you see in my videos. All of this is just my opinion. I'm just trying to show you some nice looking chart patterns I think have the potential of really exploding higher. They look like they could be just starting out. And number two is for all of my trouble, if you could just like the smash button for me and help me out with the YouTube algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, the first one I want to talk about is the mother of all meme stocks at the moment, and that is AMC Entertainment Holdings. This one is up about 98% at the moment, so just an absolutely huge, huge move. And we can start to see that some of the other meme stocks are really starting to pick up momentum as well. GameStop looks like it could potentially just be starting to blast off you know i haven't been uh, pretty accurate at calling gamestop in the past so i'm not quite sure where gamestop might be going but if GameStop follows the same pattern that AMC is doing, um, it has the potential to blast past that old high and be headed towards $1,000 a share. And if that happens, that would just be incredible. But I don't doubt it at all because some of these stocks are really starting to gain momentum. Another one of the meme stocks that is taking off is Express. You can see just a beautiful pattern in Express. Nice rounded bottom. Jumped above the 8-period exponential moving average. Started moving sideways without breaking down below it and now it's printing a nice big green candle so this one could be off to the races as well and the other one in this group that i wanted to show you was cost cost is a little bit more extended than um, express um, it's actually up about 58 percent at the moment this is intraday so this is going to bounce around a little bit but um this one it's probably my least favorite out of these first four just because it's a little bit more extended. I mean, of course, AMC is super extended, but that is just an absolute monster. But uh, costs, a little bit little bit too extended, but this thing could be just getting started as well. I mean, you have that very nice, long, rounded bottom, and it's now it's starting to blast off. But one thing that I have been noticing is some of the stocks that, you, that were red hot that have been getting beaten down lately are now starting to take off again. One of those stocks is uh, Lordstown Motors. You can see this one has been in a steep downtrend ever since February. Now it's making a huge bottom. This is a classic bottoming formation. Once it's been going down for a substantial period of time, you look for uh, three or four big up days on a heavier volume, and that's what we got pulled back it did not take out the old low and jumped right back above those moving averages and now it's printing another green big green candle so um i think uh, lordstown motors might have a date with the 200 period simple moving average uh definitely if this keeps up it will but um man a lot of these stocks are really starting to pick up some momentum another one that's surprising is nicola this one has been out of favor for a long time. It's been trending down ever since last June. And um, now it looks like it's finally starting to carve out a tradable bottom. It uh, made a low back in mid-April. Jumped up to the 21 period exponential moving average. That purple line pulled back below the 8 period exponential moving average. Did not take out the previous low and is now starting to uh, take off. And it's starting to accelerate. This one looks like it's definitely has a date with the 200 period simple moving average coming up so uh looks like there could be still some left in the tank for nicola uh another one i want to talk about is bed bath and beyond this one is absolutely exploding this is another one of the reddit stocks that were potentially going to be short squeeze and this one is exploding on huge volume today another one was blackberry see blackberry is doing the same thing another one was pets I think it's an S, not a Z. Yep, that's the right one. I always get the PTS and PTZ confused. 
But uh, Pet Meds Express just exploding as well. Another one that's taken off like a rocket is Rocket Mortgage. Um, this one is up over 13.5% at the moment. Probably would have been up more, but it's running into resistance at that blue line, that 50 period simple moving average. But if it gets above it tomorrow, I mean, it could be big time off to the races for uh, rocket companies. But now let's get into the ones that haven't really gone up that much, but I think have the potential to really explode. And the first one is Naked Brands, N-A-K-D. We can see NAKD is up about, it's actually up about 22% at the moment. But I think if this one gets going, this one um, should have a lot left in the tank. You see it's making that same beautiful rounded bottom formation, holding the eight period exponential moving average and now printing that nice big green candle on a way above average volume. So I think uh, NAKD could be one that's ready to take off substantially higher. Another one is OGI. You can see OGI is looking quite similar to Naked, having that nice rounded bottom, jumped above all those moving averages, and it's holding it. I think uh, tomorrow, if this thing prints another big green candle, this thing really could be off to the races, could be making one of these moves like it made back in uh, early February. That remains to be seen, but I'll definitely be watching that one tomorrow. Another one I want to show you is one I actually own a little bit of, and that is Clover Health Investments. Now, this one was uh, talked about being heavily shorted and this one looks like it is finally carving out that bottom after having that big run on that um those short rumors it re it reversed off that 200 period simple moving average and was trending down for several weeks but now it looks like it could finally be starting to explode again so i wouldn't be surprised if clove takes off as well another one i want to talk about is rad right aid group or Rite Aid Corporation, I'm sorry. Um, if you back it out a little bit, you can see this one is really starting to make a nice rounded bottom and it's starting to blast through those moving averages. So Rite Aid looks like um, it's making just a perfect pattern to be taking off. Another stock that was really popular back um, during the, uh, the SPAC phase uh, was Hylion Holdings, but Hylion Holdings obviously has been getting crushed ever since uh, September and October of last year. It's pulled all the way back to about $8 a share, made a nice double bottom, and now it is climbing above all those moving averages. And it's holding that 8 period exponential moving average and printing a nice green candle on above average volume. So Hylion could be one that's off to the races because this one has been beaten down quite a bit, and this thing goes all the way back up to 20 it will only be retracing just about one third of the all-time high now i realize that this one is still overvalued because you know they don't have a ton of revenue coming in yet but you know it doesn't say it doesn't mean this stock can't end up uh, going up towards 20 dollars a share i mean the pattern definitely looks like it could be ready to explode next one i want to talk about is fossil Fossil making the same type pattern. This one also had one of those uh, squeeze type um, runs back in late January. Now it's making a nice rounded bottom and starting to head higher. So Fossil is definitely one that's worth watching. Another one that was hot was Kodak. And Kodak... Um, if we went, if we go all the way back to last July, we can remember that Kodak had that huge, huge, huge move, but now it's been basically just going sideways since then. And it looks like, um, it is jumping above all those moving averages and could potentially be running as well. This is one is not my most favorite out of the group, but I thought I wanted to show you that one as well. Uh, next one I do want to show you is IDEX. Ideonomics, and I actually had a position in this one, so maybe I'm a little bit biased, but this is definitely a nice looking pattern. And this one was red hot just a few months ago, so it wouldn't surprise me one bit if this one catches some momentum again and starts screaming higher as well. Another one I want to talk about is Fizz. Fizz also is starting to explode higher. I mean, this one had that huge run back in. Uh, late january you know on the uh the reddit news and um man this thing has been making a nice rounding bottom as well it's found some support at the 200 period simple moving average and now looks like it's blasting above all those moving average so fizz is one that looks like it could be next to take off another one is lucid motors Lucid Motors has been mired in a downtrend for quite a while, but this one is starting to make a nice rounding bottom and is now blasting above all those moving averages. So 
Even though uh, Lucid, Motors, Lucid Motors is up about 8.5% uh, on the day, if this thing gets going, especially like it did in January, there could be plenty left in the tank. I don't expect another big move like this, but if even if you get a third of that move, you know, that puts us up into the 30s, and that is a fantastic move from these levels. Another one is Nokia. Nokia is quietly starting to gain a lot of momentum. It's being accumulated heavily. You can see that this accumulation base is actually rising and now it's exploding past that resistance level right around five and a quarter and of course this is one of those stocks that got uh you know bought up by the reddit crew and uh, this one looks like it could be taking off again and the last one that i want to show you is fubo so fubo is making the same exact pattern as well you know it's been selling off for months and months and months made that false breakdown a jump right back above into this consolidation and now it looks like it's blasting above that consolidation and ready to take off as well all right, guys, well, that's all I have for this video, so I'm going to end it right there. But if you have any questions about any of these stocks or if you have any other stocks you want me to take a look at, please leave them down there in the comment section. I will get to them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end, guys. And until next time, take care.